My name is Spencer Whittier and my job title is Transmission Siding Engineer. And what that means is I basically come up with a proposed transmission line route for a new TVA transmission line from point A to point B. So many people think that TVA may not build new transmission lines. We actually have got a lot of projects going on and I'm responsible for finding that path. The challenges of, of my job are trying to find the transmission line route with the least overall impact in the areas of environmental, social, and engineering. And it's balancing all of those to come up with a preferred route that we will be going forward with and ultimately be building. Then I'm contacting property owners, every property owner along the project, and try my best to work with them to, to get this transmission line route in and keep the public as happy as I can and work to get the project better for those along the way. So we definitely encourage property owners to attend the open houses if they can. That, that's an opportunity for them, for us to be there to answer questions, to provide information on the project. Uh, to present maps and also receive their comments, which is a big part of our decision-making process in the new transmission line route. A transmission siding engineer or a TVA representative will um, speak to each property owner in a one-on-one -on -one, uh, format. It's a great way for both uh, parties to learn about um, what's going on. It, it's hard to predict what the public is going to um, think about a particular line route or or what constraints or environmental considerations may be found that may, may cause you to, to uh, need to adjust that. So you're, it's always, it's full of surprises. Um, we've developed our alternative line routes um, after setting up our study area. We, we usually have a network of line route options, but yeah, that happens pretty early in the process. And as part of that, we're open to working with property owners on their piece of property if we have a route shown across them, um, but we're, we're not prepared to um, move the route off of a property owner onto someone new. It's a sensitive process, and but the project's gotta be done. It's gonna benefit the greater area. Um, it's gonna benefit jobs and economic development, but at the same time, it's I know it's not gonna be um, easy having to have those conversations. A lot of times issues come up during the survey process. A property owner may want, uh, may have concerns about the location of a structure. We're open to going out and working with them on their property. One of the questions that we get asked most frequently is uh, people just don't, um, people are just curious in general about the project. Is my land, are you going to buy my land or are you going to get an easement? Uh, what are these structures going to look like? What's the project schedule look like going forward from here? Am I on the preferred route? I understand that we are the, uh, oftentimes the first first group to contact a property owner. It's it's interesting to to be laying out a new transmission line route as well. Um, at the same time, it's it's uh, something that you can't take lightly. And certainly, after working in this group, I look at transmission lines differently. Um, you, you definitely notice them more. You notice what kind of structures they are. You appreciate more of what it took to install those structures and, and get up on that mountainside and, and you really have a, a big appreciation for the group and, and the things that we can accomplish.